What's up, guys? War here. Today, I'm bringing you an awesome Crusader build for the PTR in Season 27. It's the Thor build or the Fist of Heavens build that is in Diablo. Now, it's it's due to the Angelic Crack ability. Uh, for every two seconds, we call down a Fist of Heavens on a random nearby enemy. We're going to have this doubled up and just destroy everything. The build is very, very flavorful. But we're going to go in now. This build isn't like super strong by any means, guys. So I don't want you to get that idea. The build is just really, it's going to be one of the best T16 farming builds for the crusader if you are a crusader main obviously the new the phalanx or phalanx phalanx phoenix phalanx phalanx build uh is going to be a stronger build than this but this is just very flavorful it's super super fast and it's going to be a great t16 build if you need to farm out some levels and all that stuff for the crusader so we're going to get in i'm just going to do a uh, nephilim rift just to showcase the build guys it's very flavorful and then we'll go over everything that you need as always so let's get right into it so I'm not much of a Crusader main, but all we're going to be doing is doing Steed Charge to just zip around the map. We got Iron Skin for defense, Unstoppable Valor for just uh, getting attack speed and getting, you know, reduce, you know, uh, in increase attack speed and then reduce all wrath costs by 50%, which is huge because Fists of Heavens actually costs a lot at 30 wrath. And then we have our Archon's Champion for just, you know, OPness, and then Fist of Heaven, guys, and then Judgment to do uh, additional damage. So, all we're going to do is we're going to fly in here, hit our stuff, hit everything. You do that, you're just going to fly around, okay? And then we got Steed st Charge just to bounce around. As you guys can see, the build is just, like, very cool. It's very, very fast. You're going to be able to farm T-16s in no time. So for all you Crusader mains, like I said, this is going to be the build for you. Um, it's just so cool to play. Look at this. Look at all the lightning on the screen right now. I mean, it, it's just so cool. Um, you're going to be burning through your abilities really, really fast. Now, our weapon and shield are going to help with Steed Charge to keep it up. But this build is actually kind of cooldown dependent because we want to be able to constantly steed charge all over the map that's a dead end you see with our steed charge we actually pull enemies with those chains it's so cool it's just such a cool build man and i i like i'm calling it the thor build okay guys it's definitely the thor build you're just casting lightning you're destroying everything and that's all you really have to do now with a uh, judgment what this is going to do is just stun enemies in the circle and then do increased damage against them so when we pass judgment, we're going to cast this circle. Everything inside of it takes a lot more damage. So look at this. You're casting these things every two seconds. Just absolutely dominating, man. We don't even have to hit this. We don't even need to hit it. We don't need to hit that. We got enough speed. We got enough speed on this build. Super, super fun, man. And, you know, like I said, guys, I'm not much of a Crusader build, but... This is really, really cool. Um, I don't know. I think this build is actually called something else within Diablo, but I'm calling it the Thor build. It's just super cool. Very flavorful, flavorful, like very pleasing to the eye for aesthetics. You know what I mean? And it's just a fun build overall. You know, it's very easy to play, not too complex. And again, you're going to be able to farm like no other. I mean, look how fast I'm just like going through everything. Now, the set pieces that you're going to need, will you will need for the set, but again, you can like farm this and not have like high level gear or high paragon, anything like that to just kind of get through it. You see us, we're still destroying. You guys know in pretty much all my bare bones builds, there's not a lot I do to these. I would like to grind up more and be able to do, bring you guys these videos at higher levels, which I plan on doing next PTR for season 28 and then like throughout season 27 because we got a really nice schedule. But uh, right now, like, we're doing the best we can to bring you these videos. So you guys have been so supportive throughout all of them. So I want to thank you guys very much for all the support. But you guys can see, look at me dragging the enemies around with the god chains. This is a holy build, guys. I do want to add that. Everything is based on holy damage. Um, so even though it's holy damage, it does. it is lightning. Don't get it twisted. Uh, one other thing that this like um, build actually lacks is like single target. Like I know, I know it does well here because we're just super strong and it's only T16. But if you guys were going to push like higher GRs than 90, you are going to struggle with sing, uh, single target removal. So those Rift Guardians and you know higher level elites. But you know you got another build for that. So 
that completes the t16 guys very very flavorful so let's get in to the build and everything that you're going to need now it is going to seem a little wacky we are using the valor set now i do want to mention that the valor set does give the fist of the heavens a huge buff but it also is a big buff to heaven's fury it's kind of a two-part set we're not using heaven's fury at all we're just using fist of the heavens to just kind of fly by now if the six set beast bonus didn't give twenty thousand damage increase to fist of the heavens then this build would be just tossed but with that we're using the full set of the agus of valor build and then we're combining that with captain crimson's guys for the cooldown and damage reduction and resource cost reduction which is huge because wrath costs so dang much um, and then for our weapons and shield, I've tested this a few different ways, guys. Um, you can you can change it up, but I, I have found that the Norvald's Fever or Fervor set is the best one. You increase the duration of uh, Steed Charge, and then when you're killing enemies, it reduces the cooldown, and you gain 200% increased damage after using Steed Charge. So that's why you're just bouncing around. And with the automatic Fist of the Heavens ability hitting, you're basically going to be able to non-stop Steed Charge the entire time which makes this build incredibly fast so we're going with that a rings and amulet of course works necklace for the double damage then we went with obsidian ring of the zodiac to help with cooldown and then we have unity which we pair with our follower because this build is a little squishy if you're doing grs with it but for t16 you could probably swap this out for something else or if you wanted more damage you could probably swap both these out and do um focus and restraint but you definitely need a, a lot of cooldown resistance so our legendary gems are wildebeest to help with uh defense so we're not so squishy gogok to reduce cooldown and then bane of the trap because bane of the trap is just op uh in the cube guys i went with dark light this increases fist of the heavens and now it casts twice that's why combined with the ability instead of every two seconds it calls down one we call down two which is just great uh, and then we got the Aquila for damage reduction because you guys noticed through the entire thing, we pretty much stayed at full full wrath. So the damage uh, reduction is huge here. And then a Royal, Rang uh, Royal Ring of Grandor for the double build here. Into the skills. This build is done a few different ways, but this is the one I find the funnest and just easiest to play. Fist of the Heavens, Fissure, calls him down, Lightning, Arthur, and then Judgment re uh, resolved to uh, help immobilize enemies and they, take, uh, they have a bigger chance for crit. Uh, then, of course, Steed Charge, Draw, and Quarter for increased holy damage, and then we drag them. Iron Skin, Steel Skin for damage reduction. Uh, Laws of Valor, Unstoppable Force for increased attack speed and reduced uh, resource costs. And then uh, Akarat's Champion Profit for holy, and then just uh, added damage reduction. So pretty much with cooldown, most of these abilities are going to be up all the time, which is fantastic. So into the passives, guys, we have Heavenly Strength because we are rocking a two-hand. Uh, holy cause for increased damage and then you heal yourself finery for increased strength which helps uh do more damage and then long arm of the law to increase our law uh, active for even more time so this increases it to 10 seconds instead of five which is great so that is the build it's absolutely fantastic super super fun the four or the thor crusader build for uh t16s this is going to be really really fast you're going to be able to like once you start to get the higher grs you're going to be able to pump out gr 90s like it's nothing but uh right now uh this is kind of the build that is the build guys thank you so much for watching if you are a crusader main definitely consider building this for your t16 farming uh it's absolutely it's just so fun and just so flavorful and pleasing to the eye it's great so thank you guys so much for watching Again, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. We've been pumping out Diablo content like crazy. So thank you guys so much for all the support. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.